how to create a wordpress.org website from scratch using Hostinger. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, Hostinger is sponsoring us and I'm gonna be showing you how to create a wordpress.org website from scratch using Hostinger. The very first step to creating your WordPress site is to actually get hosting now i'm using hostinger as i mentioned as well and when you go onto their page and you click the get started button you can see the different packages and price plans that they have so they have the single shared hosting price plan here which is um 80 cents per month and that comes with one website one email account 100 gigabytes of bandwidth and one times processing power and memory and then if as you go up you get more so with the premium shared account you get unlimited number of websites unlimited email and and all of that uh, great stuff and that's only at two dollars and fifteen cents and obviously a business shared hosting plan is uh, three dollars forty five so you're going to want to go through these and click to see all of the features make sure you're accessing the, the hosting plan that meets your requirements so as you can see the pricing here is relatively low, it's relatively cheap. So if you are on a shoestring budget, then Hostinger has some really great um, prices there for you. So I'm gonna click the single shared hosting plan just to get started as a demonstration purpose. It's important to note that you will need to register or a domain name. So your domain is basically what your website is going to be. My domain, for example, is daytips.com d-e-y-t-i-p-s.com so you're going to want to make sure that you uh, register that here if you already have one then you don't need to purchase one and if uh, there's certain plans with hostinger as well where you get one for free so that might um, actually encourage you to go to the higher plan with them um, but as you can see here i can have a, a domain name and i can select the period of which i want to continue to pay for that domain name here as well um, as you scroll down you see different settings so this uh, protects your website with an SSL certificate uh, basically what that means is um, your website will be protected as you can see it has um, HTTPS up here instead of just HTTP now uh, it's becoming increasingly important for you to have that uh, HTTPS as a website particularly in search engines so it's great for SEO so I recommend having an SSL um, certificate so they make it easy for you to add that to your cart um, I recommend that um, you can secure your website with daily backup so this means if anything happens to your website you don't lose your data um, of your entire site if you're backing it up so if you would like that then I definitely recommend ticking that as well um, supercharge your site with Cloudflare protection uh, so Cloudflare uh, helps you to increase the speed on your website as well so if you want a faster website a website that loads really quickly then cloudflare could be a great solution for you um you you can if you click this on checkout i believe you get a discount however you can just go ahead and purchase your package and then uh, see how fast your website is and if you want to improve it then you can uh, use cloudflare so um that is 100 percent up to you um so once you've kind of filled all of this in and you've made all your details obviously you're going to want to go to the checkout and the really cool thing is they allow you to pay via credit card via paypal but also via bitcoin as well so they just give you different methods of which can help you to pay so once you've registered for your hosting got account um, you will be able to log in and in order to install wordpress you want to go to your single shared hosting and click the setup button and then once you've done that you will land on this page where you can pick your domain now I've registered my domain or uh, with um, hosting got already so you'll see it here um, if you don't have a, a domain or if you have it at another company then you'll click this and follow the instructions there um, but I'm assuming that you've um, already got your domain with hosting go and if that be the case you can literally just click the continue button And it will take you to where you need to fill out your details so i'm going to quickly do that and then click the setup button so once you've clicked the setup button you will be on this page where you can literally click install wordpress so it's going to install wordpress on the domain that i have selected and when i click on that you'll see how simple it is 
um, literally select the domain again it's the daytips.com uh, for uh, the daytipsmembers.com which I've registered with Hostinger so I need to insert my administrator username um, I need to insert my administrator password and my administrator email so make sure the email is an, an email that you use regularly so that if you forget your password or whatnot then you can actually access that easily so I'm going to submit that information now so once you've inserted all of that information you just need your website title and I'm going to put my one as day tips members and then I'm going to click install and as you can see it's installing my WordPress website onto that domain name so it's as simple as that to install your uh, your to install WordPress on Hostinger. So once WordPress has been installed, you'll see it in the installed section here and when you log in on Hostinger and when you click on that, it should take you to your login where you can enter the username and password that you set up for your WordPress site and you will log uh, straight in to WordPress. So once you enter your email address and your password, you will actually be able to access your WordPress website. So you can start editing your site, you can add posts, you can add pages, you can change the theme of your site. At the moment, it's going to be my default uh, template, my default Hello World template. So you're obviously you're going to want to make changes to this and make this your own. Um, website and there's so many themes you can choose from and um, if you go into the themes section here on WordPress um, then you can see there's different templates you can choose some of them are free but some of them are actually paid as well so you can click on add new uh, theme and you can see the ones that are within WordPress you can also upload a theme if you pay for one online and there's so many different customizations that you can do to WordPress with regards to themes and also with regards to plugins. So if you want your website to do a specific thing, um, you can add that to your WordPress site as well, whether it be an SEO plugin, whether it be some sort of pop-up plugin. Um, and I've spoken about different plugins on my YouTube channel as well. But if you want a deeper dive, a deeper uh, WordPress dive in terms of how to create a WordPress site and some of the themes that I recommend, then um, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get those videos out for you. So hopefully after watching this video, you now know how to create a WordPress.org website from scratch using Hostinger and a huge shout out again to our sponsors for this video, Hostinger. I will be leaving a link to their website in the description down below, so make sure you go and check them out. But if this video was useful for you, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content download the formula to generate in more online sales have a great day and i will see you soon